All right, we are back at you with Weather for Weather Geeks on the 10th day of April. It's Thursday evening, and it's been a clammy and cloudy and damp Thursday. Unfortunately, it's going to kind of stay this way into the overnight and into our Friday as well. The steadiest of the rain today occurred during the morning hours, but this afternoon we've had some mist and drizzle here and there, all told over the last 24 hours, about a quarter of an inch, pretty good region-wide average with a few locally higher amounts, but generally about a quarter of an inch has fallen over the last 24 hours and you know it's been a pretty wet start to the month of April through the first third of the month officially at the airport 2.58 inches is where we stand that's 1.34 inches above the average a fair amount of that came last Saturday but still we've had plenty of days with some measurable precipitation including about a quarter of an inch as of the issuance of the climate report the daily climate reports uh, that usually comes out at about 5 15 5 30 p.m. so temperatures today really struggled with the clouds and the wet weather we should be in the upper 50s around 57 uh, at this time of the year but uh, we fell well short of that today about 13 degrees cooler than average and this is the same neighborhood we will be in for tomorrow why am i showing you the drought monitor we just talked about the plentiful precipitation well it's it's a notable drought monitor today because i'm going to zoom out and you look at the state of ohio and there are no abnormally dry areas in the state of Ohio and it's been a long time since we've been able to say that of course we got into a pretty deep drought last spring and also late last summer into last fall especially in southeast Ohio down in this area uh, we weren't as dry here locally but not far to our south it was quite a bit drier for a time back in 2024 so it's notable that uh, with today's issuance of the drought monitor here in the middle of spring we have no drought uh, problems anywhere across the state and i expect uh, we will see a uh, a lack of drought issues this spring season in other words precipitation should be plentiful enough and speaking of precipitation you know it's not a lot on the radar but there are a couple showers and a little mist and drizzle out there if you're out and about on this thursday evening you'll have to flip on the wipers occasionally that is for sure and you know the visibility is uh it's lower than average but uh, we don't have a lot of true fog out there right now that may change later on tonight so i've been mentioning this frequently on this video of late i think we're done with measurable snowfall in our area and what we mean by measurable snowfall is more than a trace flurries in the air that uh, usually is indicative of trace amounts of accumulation that doesn't count as far as measurable snowfall measurable measurable snowfall means a little bit more than a trace in other words kind of a coating or more and so th for all intents and purposes here are the final numbers from some of our area weather observers this might be a little bit high in Hanoverton that sort of sticks out to me as a little bit of a bogey <laughs> in terms of the uh, uh, the surrounding observations some uh, weather spotters in Mahoning County between 30 and 40 inches worth of snow this uh, winter season down towards east liverpool 23 24 inches in total uh, once you're north of interstate 80 and get into kind of these light blue colors you know you're getting up into the 40 to 50 inch range up there and at the airport we've only had what about 44 or something uh for the season uh the amounts get a little bit higher of course as you head up towards the primary snow belts and in the primary snow belts of northeast ohio and northwest pa it was a fairly typical season in terms of seasonal snow totals in our viewing area the closest we got to average was in this area over in mercer county elsewhere where you see all these oranges that's all below average snowfall for the uh season so yeah again it was a cold winter but it was not particularly snowy in our tv viewing area so the visibility can become a little bit more problematic i think as we head through the overnight into tomorrow morning this is a, a moist air mass moisture laden stratus clouds can lower enough overnight that they technically become fog fog is just a stratus cloud that's kind of hugging the ground the fog will then dissipate just leaving us with just stratus clouds for a lot of friday it's gonna be a pretty gloomy day once again what falls out of the sky on friday there might be a little bit of a of drizzle or a sprinkle in spots in the morning otherwise just a cloudy day some showers might try to rotate back in as we go towards friday evening and the overnight hours the reason for this kind of persistent pattern is this low pressure system right on the edge of the screen is going nowhere in a hurry it's going to be just a ugh, friday uh, you know not great at all philadelphia dc baltimore the rain certainly steadier out there and there probably will be some snowflakes in interior parts of the northeast in fact check this out in the wee hours of saturday morning some big wet snowflakes albany new york heading down towards the poconos allentown pa up towards boston yeah they're gonna see some wet snow up there don't think we see that around here but we will see a couple of sprinkles and maybe a little bit of drizzle into saturday morning this model is fairly pessimistic and try and uh 
you know, kind of keeping the clouds around through Saturday night. Some of the other modeling would suggest that some of this clearing does try to work in towards Saturday evening and into the overnight. In fact, this model keeps it pretty cloudy into Sunday morning. Not really ready to buy that idea yet. I think it'll be fairly sunny to start on Sunday with more clouds in the afternoon as this warm front approaches. This warm front will usher in more seasonable air for a change on Sunday as we get into the upper 50s and maybe a few showers with that front Sunday night. And as we go into the day on Monday, there could be some showers and even some thunder. We'll talk about that in just a second. But recapping the weekend, what you see is what you get through Saturday with more clouds, certainly than sunshine Saturday, keeping a lid on the temperatures. Sunday is the day if you, if you do need to mow, and some of us really do. You know, the grass is growing uh, with this rain of late and, and, and some of the sunnier days we've had. So if you do need to mow, Sunday is going to be the day. Uh, to take care of that this weekend because I think it'll be dry during the daylight hours and certainly a more hospitable afternoon temperature wise. Now, I don't think severe weather is very likely at all around here on Monday, but as a cold front approaches in the afternoon, there could be some heavy gusty storms and maybe some hail producers down, you know, closer to Charleston, West Virginia and down into the uh, central and southern Appalachians, maybe as far north as Interstate 70. Uh, there could be some gustier thunderstorms around here. I, you know, I've looked at the model data today, and I'm just not real impressed with uh, true severe weather chances around here. Although there could be some lightning and thunder Monday afternoon. Then a cold front comes through. That, that's the cold front that could produce some showers and storms Monday afternoon, and it knocks us back into this kind of unpleasant territory. So we do 68 Monday, but then ugh, mostly in the 40s for a couple of days. Beyond that, when's this going to change? People are starting to lose a little bit of patience with kind of this cool April weather, and I think patience will really be running thin uh, as we go towards the middle of the month. You know, the next 10 days takes us out through Easter Sunday. I do think beyond that, based on uh, some of the recent modeling, that we are going to switch gears into a, at least a more seasonable pattern, if not a warmer than average pattern, for the last maybe week to 10 days of April. But until about April 20th, you know, any warm-ups are going to be very, very brief, like the one we have coming Sunday and into Monday. So hang in there. Better days are ahead. We just have to be a little bit patient once again. Sometimes we have to be real patient around our part of the country in the middle of spring. Spring can be a big tease around here, that is for sure. Make it a great rest of your Thursday night. Thanks for checking out this edition of Weather for Weather Geeks, and I'll see you back here on Friday.